Today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms to create a simple yet comprehensive attendance system uh, to keep track of your daily attendance and then have the ability to analyze that data uh, throughout the semester. So to start, what I'm going to do is go to my Google Drive and I'm going to create a dedicated folder for all of my attendance forms. And I'm going to go to New and create a Google Form. Now within this Google form, uh, generally I like to create uh, a form for each period that I'm taking attendance for. So I'm going to call this one period one. And I'm going to change the question type here from the default multiple choice to one called multiple choice grid. And the way this is going to work is it will give you uh, different rows for each student. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my student names here. And I would type in first and last, obviously. Uh, so I'm just going to type in some sample data here. And then column 1, column 2, this is where you're going to type in what type of data it is that you would like to uh, keep track of. So if I look at my demo over here, my columns were present, absent, intervention, tardy, and other. So I would go ahead and go in and type in that type of data. So, uh, And then I'll go ahead and pull up one that is completed here. And I typed in my class worth here, and then I, this is the data that I like to keep track of. Uh, and then as far as where the question goes, I actually leave that blank. It just looks a little better. And then I also went down and added an additional type of question, which is a short answer text. And you simply do that by clicking on uh, Add Question, and I changed that to Short Answer. And that just gives me the ability to add in a comments area. And again, my final uh, version just simply looks like this. I called it Notes. And when I finish it, uh, it allows me to have something that looks like this. Now, one of the things that I discovered was as I was filling this out on a per period basis, uh, I was having to type in or click present every single period. Uh, so that's where you want to go ahead and see if you can find a uh, pre-filled version or creative pre-filled version. It's very simple to do. Uh, what you'll do is click on the menu up here in the top right corner and you'll have the option to get a pre-filled link. And what that will do is that will give you your form. Uh, it looks like you're going to be filling out your form, but it tells you up here to go ahead and preset these questions that you want to have uh, filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and make it so that every time I pull up this attendance form they are present. Uh, that'll save me time each day rather than rather than having to type in present uh, I just you know click my outlayers, my absent students or my tardy students. So I've got this and I'm gonna go ahead and click submit and it's not actually submitting what it's doing is giving me a link here now that I can copy and actually add to my bookmarks and that is what I have when I click on attendance up here and click on my period two semester attendance my live attendance it goes to my pre-filled response which uh, then I would continue to build that for each of my periods and have a full listing of pre-filled uh, forms for each of my classes then we'll throw its data into a form like this or Google Sheet rather and what I did was I added a section down here at the bottom that uh, has a couple of formulas. I used a count if formula that will count uh, and looking for the word absent. Uh, same thing with intervention, looking for uh, anytime the word intervention appears. Uh, that way uh, here you can see it counted both of those interventions. <clears throat> I have a, a column here that totals both of those because what I'm looking for is for our SLOs. Uh, anybody who's absent more than 10% of the time uh, doesn't count towards our SLOs. So that uh, is what my total absence is and my absent percentage is kind of keeping track of here. Tardies, we have a threshold of three tardies before we uh, take a consequence. So I have it color-coded here as it's, again, looking for the word tardy. And these are just the results that are appearing from each of your forms. Uh, and then, obviously, the present down here is used for uh, different calculations as far as absences. Uh, I'll post the link to this form so you can kind of see some of these formulas um, and how they work if you need to set up your resulting Google Sheet uh, to do some of these similar calculations. Hopefully this will give you a uh, nice, easy, quick way to keep attendance each period and analyze your data.